Mystics Corner Game Day. Hello, everyone. Frank Hanran, Christy Winter Scott. We're in the uh, the lobby offices here of the Washington Mystics, and they went to work on Saturday against New York. Almost a, a heartbreaking defeat, but in the end, a win is a win. It almost cost them in the end with an interesting call. We won't get into that too much, <laughs> but the Mystics beat the Liberty. Your thoughts on that victory? Well, you know, I, like you said, a win is a win, but the Mystics had an 18-point lead, and with that type of control, you have to maintain that control. Mystics now 4-2 and two at home, and we talked about that on the air, that it's very important to defend your home court. Absolutely. They did that nicely. They're in the midst of a six-game homestand, so if they can kind of run the table from here on out, be a nice little homestand. Absolutely, and what you have to do is definitely take care of home, and that's always top of the list, especially when you have games in a row like that. Take advantage of sleeping in your own bed. Take advantage of just coming over to practice. There's a lot of advantages of being home for that long a period. Let's talk about real quickly about the, the Liberty game. Lindsey Harding, some clutch free throws late. Yeah. She struggled from the line earlier in some key situations. Good for her to knock those down. She did, and you know what? It was the hustle play of Monique Curry on that offensive board to tap that ball out, so it was a team effort, but definitely she had to step up to that line and knock those down because Christian came down and hit a three and there was the one point differential in the game. So the hustle play got them that win as well. Our Mystics Corner Game Day crew had a chance to catch up with some of the Mystics players after the big victory over the New York Liberty. We're here with Superwoman Lindsay Harding. You finished with 23 points, five assists, and seven rebounds. Talk a little bit about your play, especially in the fourth quarter. Um, I just wanted to attack. I know uh, a few games back, Elena said, Lindsay, when you attack and are aggressive, it makes everything easier for everybody. So I was just taking what they gave me. A couple times they left me to go double the, our post players because we have strong posts like Lang and Nakia and Chaz, and I just hit my open shots. You're such an all-around player as a point guard. What is your mentality? Is it more shoot first or pass first? Um, you know, I guess the traditional point guard used to be you know, pass first. Now in this league, you've got to be able to score. Uh, my job is to set everybody up and also take what's there for me. So, yeah, early on I'm trying to see who's hot, who's not, and move the ball around. But other than that, if, I, if I'm wide open, i gotta, I got to knock it down. Okay. A very tough game against the Liberty. Tuesday you guys face Indiana. Talk about the team's play and what you guys need to do better to close out games. That's it. Close out games. I mean, there's I mean, so many games we've been up and then they've gotten close and we've either one by one or two we've actually lost. And we just got to find a way to keep playing our game and not playing so passive because we were saying this. We need to play to win and not play not to lose, not to win, you know. So um, we pulled this one out. But against Indiana, if we get a lead or whatever, we're going to have to play 40 minutes all the way to the end because there's the number one in the East. As we're up by 20 points but only finished the game winning by one point. What do you guys need to do better to close out games? Um, I think the thing we need to do better is focus. I mean, obviously we have a lack of focus. Um, we play uh, um, relax when we're ahead, and um, that's a problem. Um, when, you, when you have a great team like us and a lot of stars on our team, like in Lindsey and AB, you have to have that mentality to uh, put teams away and think think kill, just think kill, and just kill teams. And I think it's just a lack of focus. You're one of the key players coming off the bench. What do you expect to bring to, um, bring to the court when you come in? The only thing I expect to bring is energy. Energy and defense. Um, I, I really don't care about the scoring. I just want this team to win a championship. And if that's for, if that, me playing defense the whole game and not scoring, then I'll do it. So I, I'm just, I want to be that spark. So to just get my team up so we can win games. Welcome back to Mystics Corner Game Day. We're joined by the Terp tandem for the Washington Mystics, Marissa Coleman and Crystal Langhorn. And Crystal, your second year in the league, how have you been a teacher for Marissa in terms of <laughs> teaching the students, the rookie, about what the WNBA is all about? Um, I've also been a cook for Marissa. I mean, I cook, I cook for all the time. So, um, you know, just trying to show the ropes, you know, is, is different than college. And, you know, she's just been adjusting so well. Um, I really haven't even had to tell her that much. Chris, I want to ask you just uh, about the game and, and certainly getting a high ankle sprain early, especially for a rookie. That's got to be a killer. How's the ankle, and is it tough to kind of get back into feeling your rhythm? The ankle's doing a lot better. Thankfully, I don't have to spend hours in the training room anymore. Um, it's been tough getting back, just trying to find the flow again. Didn't, never really had a serious injury that's kept me out that long. So just trying to get in the flow and, and get back to the feel of things. 
When you were at college and, and Chris was your teammate two years ago, did you ever talk about, hey, maybe one day we'll be teammates in WNBA, or is that just too far down the line when you're a junior or a sophomore? A lot of us actually used to joke about it, saying, you know, our whole starting five of the year that we won the national championship, how we wanted to play overseas together. We were devising plans to, <laughs> to get that team team organized. But to play with uh, Langingen, it's definitely great. And playing with a player like Lindsay Harding, Crystal, she pushes the tempo so well. And Elena Beard says that she gives her energy. Does she do the same for you? I think so. I mean, I love playing with a point guard like Lindsay. Uh, she pushes the ball so well, and it gets our transition game going. And I'm a type of post who likes to run. And, you know, we just have such a great running team. I think she just uh, really gets us going. All right, well, listen, I know you guys got to get practice. You, got, you still need to get some treatment, right, for that ankle. We really appreciate your time. Good luck against the Indiana Fever on Tuesday night. All right, thank you. I had it all planned out. I was going to go to school, get my degree, and start my career. But then life got, well, busy. Then I saw a commercial for Westwood College and decided to give him a call. It was easy for me to find classes that fit my schedule. And since I was able to earn my degree in just three years, I got started in my career even sooner than I thought. Start your career in design, business, technology, or justice. For a free career success kit, call 1-800-753-0436. The Mystics get the Indiana Fever on Tuesday night at Verizon, 7 o'clock start. Indiana, uh, speaking of the fever, they're hot. <laughs> they are very hot. After an 0-2 start, ran off 11 in a row, Christy. Now, they, they just the, the string was snapped against Connecticut. But this is a, a very hot basketball team the Mystics are going to be facing on Tuesday. Absolutely, Frank. You know what? In Indiana, they had nine home games in that stretch. So hmm. nine of their 14 games were at home. So now they're on the road. They played at Connecticut, lost that game. And last year against the Mystics, it was a battle, 50 to 48 victory for the Mystics. So a defensive hmm. battle. So Indiana leads the league in steals. And guess who's second? Washington Mystics. So I think it's going to be another defensive battle, hard-nosed contest here at the Verizon Center tomorrow night. The Fever made a change, a uh, coaching change in the offseason, which was a bit of a surprise because Brian Winters, I thought, did a nice job with them, but I guess they needed a new voice, and, and they've responded. Katie Douglas uh, was a huge pickup for this franchise last year, goes back home, mm -hmm. and she always is playing very well for the Fever, and she continues to play well this year. Well, she plays well on both sides of the ball, and as she brings that veteran leadership from the perimeter. She can hit that three ball, but she can also lock you down on defense, and she's the main reason why mm -hmm. Indiana is leading the league in steals. So she is the energy bug for them and she gets them going every day because Tamika Catchings mm. is not really playing that great although she did lead all of the vote getters for the all-star game this season but two of 12 last night against Connecticut so she's not bringing it consistently offensively this season yet but she is getting it done on the defensive end and you know you have to give it up for her because she is a veteran and she's well respected in now the league. The thing about that is Christy it's always mm -hmm. scary when a player that that we know is good yeah. is struggling yes and two of 12 coming into a game I'm sure she wants to correct those problems with her yeah. shooting. No question. For the for the Mystics correcting problems up 18 they only beat, only beat the New York Liberty. I mean, a win is a win. I'm not trying to take a shot at the Mystics for not being able to keep a, yeah. a, a substantive lead. But I saw the quote from Elena Beard saying, we got to figure out how to close teams out mm -hmm. and not let them hang around and get back in late. Well, there's got to be a, a, an approach to the game that is you have to play to win, and playing not to lose is not right, so good. Right. So you can't be careful once you have that lead. You have to go ahead, go for the kill, go for that jugular, and and take no you know take no prisoners. And I think that's what may have happened in the New York game. Okay, we have an 18 point lead, so let's be careful with the ball. And then when you're trying to be careful with the ball, you tend to turn it over. Mm -hmm. You just have to go ahead and do what's gotten you there and that's play hard keep pushing the pace of the game keep trying to thread that needle and, and push the tempo so i'm sure if the mystics get an 18 point lead against the <laughs> fever on tuesday night we may see a different result so the indiana fever come to town tuesday night at seven o'clock we enjoy, invite you to come out and uh, root on the mystics at verizon center